This week's Ask Dr. Dury comes from a patient who is very, very interested in the Iceland project, the iStop MM project. Iceland screens, treats, or prevents multiple myeloma. The question is, if we are studying myeloma at the earliest time point of the disease development, at the point of MGUS, can we understand what is causing the myeloma? And as the iStop name uh, suggests, do we have the opportunity to prevent the original MGUS or even to prevent the progression to active myeloma? And so this is a very reasonable uh, hope, but at this point, it is a, a hope rather than something which has been uh, achieved. Active research is going on, and we're very excited that results are available related to the immune status, uh, to the genetic status, and uh, potential trigger factors in patients with early disease, patients who have MGUS and smoldering myeloma. Are there any immune defects which maybe are predisposing to the progression of the disease? Are there underlying molecular features that are predisposing factors? Uh, as we understand more about these things, then there will be the potential to understand what is causing these processes and also to intervene with uh, possible prevention of the original disease or progression to active disease. We have one example of what is called a modifiable factor. It's known that MGUS and myeloma are actually linked to obesity. And so this is what we call a modifiable factor. And in fact, in Iceland, we now have data that individuals who stay on the local high fish Icelandic diet are more likely to have progression uh, of the smoldering myeloma. And so we do feel that there is the potential to have interventions that may be uh, helpful in this uh, early disease phase. Uh, so the bottom line is understanding the cause or causes of myeloma and uh, intervening to prevent uh, the onset or progression are strong hopes uh, for the future, but early data are encouraging. And so we have some optimism that uh, results will emerge uh, that will be useful.